don't actually have any cowbell so therefore i don't have more cowbell because i would have to have two cowbell to have any more cowbell but today i actually do have more cowbell so i am drinking buffalo bayou brewing companies more cowbell double ipa 9.1 percent alcohol big fat can it's actually uh, pretty skinny. It's just as skinny as the regular, uh, but taller. There's a lot on this can. I really like the label, by the way, the nice buffalo built in, the silhouette in the in the cowbell. So again, Houston, Texas, Buff Brew, Buffalo Bayou Brewing Company, more cowbell, double IPA. Let me read some of this stuff. Uh, do not ask for whom the cowbell tolls. The cowbell tolls for thee. Please avoid looking directly at more cowbell. Do not taunt more cowbell. What, you think you're tough? Let's open it, let's pour it, let's see what it looks like. Big fan of uh, Buffalo Bayou, big fan of Houston, and big fan of double IPAs, especially big fat 9.1%. So I'm pouring this into a uh, bottom heavy wine glass, cause why not? I like the color that shows in these thin wine glasses. We're gonna pour this all the way up. We're gonna pour it all the way up. Really nice off-white light colored head there really tight really nice orange looking color a little bit cloudy almost like a light copper sunset orange type color i'm just kind of saying colors sunset orange i like the way that sounds let's get an aroma out of this looks really good especially in this class doesn't that look good mm, really biscuity citrus thick malty like a lemon like a almost like an orange zest getting a lot of those bright yellow orange fruits. But yeah, really caramely and biscuity. And a lot of that citrus tones from the citra hops. Ooh, let's get into it. Wow, this is a big old bad double IPA for sure. Mm. Pretty bitter, pretty West Coast tasting. Does have that thicker, sweeter taste though. The lingering bitterness is attached to a lot of that sweetness, which makes the, the lingering-ness uh, of the bitter die down a lot faster, which is awesome. I don't like a big lingering beer. The lacing is really nice too. It falls like, slides down the side of the glass. That is sweet. Mm, really tasty. Getting a thickness of, of mango on my tongue, a little bit of pineapple, a lot of that citrus. Again, that caramel candy sweetness, that's really sweet. Mm, carbonation is up there, medium high, I would say. This is a really good IPA, double IPA. They need to make a, a heavier double, maybe like a, I don't know, triple IPA. Call it even more cowbell. That might sound a little bit like even more Jesus. Really fat smell, almost like a, um, a plantain, like a fried plantain. It's that biscuity friedness, that, that smell that I'm getting. Mm. Yeah, but pretty tropical. Again, bitterness is a little harsh, but the, uh, the sugary sweetness that follows with it is, uh, whoa, <laughs> is making it a, a lot nicer and a lot easier to, to take down. Very, very drinkable. This is great. Buffalo Bayou, great job. Big fan of this. If you can, uh, you can grab this. I believe it's sold year round and you can get them in single packs at most places in Houston. Thank you to Scott, my, my father, for sending me this. He sent me this, he liked it, he bought it and tried it out and he liked it and he, uh, he said I would like it. So he said I should review it and I said okay and he sent it to me. From Houston, Buffalo Bayou all the way to Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I'm Patrick. I'm making it grain. Great job on the double IPA, and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace. Big shout out to Rogue, who's been missing for a couple episodes. She just got a bath. It was actually her first bath ever. You guys remember the cat taste test? Only the older, the very old fans would like, would remember that, the cat taste test. So she's a little pissed because of her first bath, but also a little bit, uh, a little bit wet.